Hi everyone, Sarah here. I just wanted to share the concept and explore the topic of arguments. I think a lot of times that people see arguments as a really, as a negative thing, as a really bad thing, as something that they don't desire, as something that they want to avoid. And I'm not saying just go out there and start arguments with people. <laughs> I think by understanding uh, the the other side, the the flip side to arguments, tree is waving to you <laughs> understanding the other side of arguments that arguments can also be seen as opportunities for exploration and i'm not so much like yes arguments with other people because that's where we can find ourselves in common arguments with over big things over small things but there's always other things going on in in um internally there's always more below the surface right we can see arguments from a surface level and point the finger at that person <laughs> they always do this and they always do that and we can we can really get trapped in the over generalization of you know those absolute words they always they never when we're surface level viewing an argument but if we're seeing arguments as opportunities for our exploration what i'm really talking about is the opportunity to explore what's going on deeper within us because when we when we really take it down and we take it inward, we get the opportunity to explore and learn and grow what's going on within us. What was that really about? Why did I say that way? When they said this, my immediate and automatic response was that. And I could see and I could tell and I could feel that that hurt that person. And this is someone that I love, I'm close to, I care about. And so I it it hurt me as well. And I wish I wouldn't have said that. And we can get trapped in this I beating ourselves up for saying that or for doing that. And you said you weren't going to do that ever again. You said that next time that happened, you were going to do this instead, but you didn't. And so we can get trapped in this feeling like we're a failure or we're we're too messed up. It's too far gone. But opportunities or arguments are opportunities for exploration. That is really another perspective, another way to view them so that you can learn, you continue to expand and grow. When you find yourself in an argument. Oftentimes you find yourself in the argument with the other person. And then there's another argument. There's the argument that you have after you have the argument with that person, the argument that you have with yourself. We're always, we're always connecting, conversing with ourselves and we're doing this consciously. And that's only 5% of it. 95% is happening internally and unconsciously. And that is the percent that's connected to our own beliefs, our beliefs about ourselves, who we are, what our purpose is in this world. And, and really that, that bigger picture, it's no wonder that the unconscious component of us is that bigger 95% because we are far greater. We are far bigger than we could ever hope for, ask, dream, or imagine, but we get stuck in that 5% of the conscious arguments and we get stuck in that. And very rarely do we take it deeper. Do we take it further within ourselves? But when we, when we really truly embody the concept that arguments our opportunities for exploration, it opens up this whole new world to really learning, to, to growing, to expanding. And without that, we stay in that that small-minded, angry, back and forthness. Instead of really taking it further and taking it deeper within ourselves, what's really going on? And what and seeing like almost like like a mechanic, like looking underneath the hood, seeing what's really going on. What's really going on are the things that mean the most to us. We feel hurt. We feel that deep sense of shame. And that that was what was projected in the argument about the dishes, knowing it was never about the dishes, knowing it was about something so much more. And so when we allow ourselves the opportunity to explore where there's more, then we can extend the things that we desire to extend, compassion, kindness, acceptance, forgiveness for ourselves and the role that we played in that, and for others and the roles that they played in it as well. It's almost like, here's my pain, and here's yours, and then came together up here in the argument but what's really going on for both of us involved is deeper is more. So when we allow ourselves the opportunity to explore through the argument, here's the lens of the argument. Great, I had an argument. Awesome. Let's learn from this. Let's grow from this. And contemplation and sitting with ourselves in that through the lens of an argument as an opportunity for exploration, what's really going on? What are the beliefs I'm feeling? I'm telling myself, I'm connecting with, I'm aligning with. What are the things I'm saying to myself? Are they actually true? And, and what are the feelings that emerge 
when I say that they are or they aren't true. Are they true for me? Could they be true for that person? Were they coming through the experience of them being true for them? Were they coming through the experience of being unheard or heard? And then I felt heard or unheard and seeing this dynamic instead of just living in the surface level, this is the argument, really seeing arguments as opportunities for exploration, for self-exploration, for really deeply connecting with our own beliefs, beliefs that we have about ourselves and what was, what was projected, what was portrayed, what was displayed, all of those things and really allowing ourselves to have the time to, to sit with this and process it with kindness, with compassion, with acceptance, with forgiveness for ourselves and for that other person. But far too often, we're so busy, we're so distracted by all the things of life, we don't allow ourselves to embrace the experience of opportunities or arguments being opportunities for exploration. And so we miss out on the richness, the divineness, the juiciness, and the goodness that comes when we allow ourselves to receive them. So that is truly what transforming past pain to present power is all about, is about looking through different lenses, seeing that the filter of which we've been living through and viewing our lives through and viewing others' lives through. And, and in that, we get this experience of life happens to us and not for us. But there's such a beautiful embrace when you sit with life happens for me, not to me. And when it happens for me, even bad things like an argument can be seen as opportunity for exploration and can really open us up to who we truly are, align us with who we were meant to be, with who we were created and designed to be. And that is my desire for you. That's my desire for myself. That's my desire for everyone because you really, really get to get deeply rooted and grounded in truth in that, that everything in life is an opportunity, but all too often we miss out on the beautiful opportunities and experiences that we're given all the time because we're so up here and really dropping into down here holds space. That's that's where the gold is, right? You've got to dig for gold, right? You, you see the little memes of and digging for gold and going through and creating these tunnels. Well, the gold is buried, right? And if the same is true for us, that is buried within us. It's buried within us. And 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 we very rarely take the opportunity and experience to unbury it, to, to have it, to hold it and to be with it. It's buried deep within us, but we think, oh God, that's so much work. And I don't have time for that. <laughs> we get stuck in the argument again. But if the argument is opportunity for exploration, that means to dig, to go deep within, to find it, to have it to hold it the goal the learnings the lessons that are there that are already within you that you get to experience embodying so i i invite you today to adopt ad, adopt adopt <laughs> this concept or perception that arguments are opportunities for exploration whether you're arguing with someone else or whether you're arguing with yourself inside your own head heart mind or whether you're having this argument with your body, maybe it's physically, maybe you grab the little love handles and you're like, oh, I hate you. And oh my God. But if there's opportunity for exploration, you get to really see, you get to see what's actually there. What are the things that are there that you wish you weren't there? What are the things that you, you wish weren't there, wish, <laughs> wish weren't there that are there? <laughs> And, and really, really sit with that, be with that, explore that. Such a beautiful journey to go within. And that is the journey of transforming past pain to present power. The power is the gold, the gold that is already within you. And my hope, dream, desire for you is to have it and to hold it, to embrace it, to enjoy it. So I would love to connect with you, especially if you're someone who's gone through an emotionally neglectful and abusive past and you have these unconscious beliefs that it's not available to you, that you don't have what it takes to be able to do that. You absolutely absolutely do. The gold is within you. And I would love for you to not only to, to, to say that, but to really embody, embrace, and experience that. It's a gorgeous gift, and it's a gift that you desire to experience having. So sending you so much love, and I'll see you very soon. All right, everyone. Bye for now.